old school terminator here with a quick tip for the day for the day basically i just want to talk about how to make a uh how to make a thunder hammer the size uh needed for a for a ironclad dreadnought uh, i'm working on a conversion right now for chosen one and what i did was uh first thing i did i needed a shaft for the thunder hammer so i pretty much cut up an auto cannon for the predator this is perfect because what it does is it gives me this right here perfect shaft for a good size hammer not such a a weeny kind of staff as we've seen and I could get with plastic hard tubing so uh, once I had it also there's a hole there on the end perfect for uh, inserting the hammer head what I did was I just cut it off the end cleanly with my hobby knife trusty hobby knife and uh, now I can put that aside for the hammer head um, if you've built a if you've built a drop pod you probably have a few Deathwind launchers uh, laying around, and if you didn't magnetize yours, uh, you probably have a few like I did. Now, to modify this, all I did was uh, eventually I want to put on some plastic hard flames, so I went ahead and just shaved off the uh, skull and wing icons. Also, uh, I went ahead and in the bottom there's this hole area, so I had to kind of cut around and get some of the plastic out, and I shoved in this big piece of pewter. Uh, you can pin it with whatever you want. And I filled in the rest of the gap with green stuff. Um, and at first I actually glued it on to the end of the, of the seismic hammer arm and I didn't like it. Um, so I went ahead and I took it off. Uh, on the hammer end, the business end of this hammer, the ha end that's going to hit something, I put the front end squares from the assault launcher. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Pretty much... In the ironclad kit, you'll see these assault launchers here. I actually got this idea from Chris Vinton. And what I did was I cut here, cut here, cut here, and here. So you get this perfect square. And it'll fit right on the end of the uh, of the Deathwind launcher. So now you've got the, the hammer head and you've got the hammer shaft. Take my trusty brush on glue here. You can get this at uh, Michael's. It's not even at Hobby Lobby. Uh, just brush it on where I need it to go. And then just uh, make sure that you line up the ends there. So your vents are all in the same way. And uh, that part is done. And later on I will stick this hammer in here in a more secure fashion. But as you can see, it fits rather snugly. And you've got a hammer that a dreadnought could wield. Um, check out the size comparison here. Now, if he was to put it in his hand, if I could fit it in the hand as it is right now, it would be pretty fearsome. Alright, so that's my quick tip of the day. Ironclad Dreadnought, Thunderhammer. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Dark Feature Games.